Hey everyone, welcome back to Loading Marriage. Hello. I, I know we uh, missed a couple days there. Um, I was quite sick. Um, still not feeling, well I'm feeling 100% but a little nasally. You, you still sound a little A, a little nasally. It's, it's like I smoke some cigarettes. So, with that being said, we're going to move on to uh, Trials of the Blood Dragon. It's a great game. I'm not talking like that the entire time. I don't think I could. So, we're going to continue and... Oh yeah, that's right. Have to blur out that one title. So, that's... Uh -oh. that, yeah, you forgot about that, huh? Mm -hmm. So, that's what my job is when we do these. What is your job? Look pretty and keep track of the time. Ah, what weren't you doing? Keeping track of the time. Because you always pretty. Look at this one. Look at this one. She's you know, scrumptious. <laughs> scrumptious. Still such a weird way to describe someone. Yeah, I know, but it's the way I'm always going to describe you. Time to, okay. Time to call the blood dragon. What? What? Oh, don't jump on that. So, it's also been a, uh, a hot minute since we played this game, so I don't really... I gotta, you know, get the controls down again and... And try not to die. now, right? You, so please don't Wait, me. when did uh, you tame the blood dragon? Oh, I'm, I'm controlling the blood dragon. I'm like, why isn't my guy not moving? Yeah, so... I don't remember. Well, again, we didn't really pay that close attention to the storyline, so... That's true. We need to just move on. So, what did you want to discuss today? I thought it was a little odd uh, well, that you want to discuss this. Well, here's why I wanted to discuss it. Because... Uh, last, not this past Wednesday, well, I don't know when this is going to go up, but at, a couple weeks ago, probably by the time this goes up. This is going up tomorrow. I don't know. What, what, what? Why do you think I was like, we have to record today so that I can get the more video up for tomorrow? What do you think that means when I say I we have to record today? I didn't pay attention to the part about tomorrow. No. Anyways, um, we just did an event with the high school kids at church called Your Mom's Prom. And it was awesome because we all basically dressed up like 80s. Some were a little more 90s, but... Yeah, but the teenagers, those are the same decades. Yeah, yeah. But like to us, the 90s is like, oh, that was like 10 years ago, right? Um, uh, and yet it wasn't. Yeah, no, not, not, not at all. But yeah, so it was a ton of fun. And it just got me... Oh, and by the way, uh, I won prom queen. Uh, the sash. Although, still gotta say, not cool. What was up with me not getting a tiara? Hello? Are we really gonna talk about the fake prom? Is that all you wanted to discuss was the fake prom? No. Because you just said, oh, we're gonna talk about the prom. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, this is why I'm thinking about prom, is because we just did this at, at church and... It was a ton of fun, but um, at part of it, like they were showing some of like the leaders' uh, uh, prom pictures because some of them are really funny. So we, you know, dug out our prom photos to give to um, the pastor. First of all, I still have my prom dress. Okay. Are you even aware that I still have my prom dress? Yeah, I know. It's in the closet all the time next to your wedding dress that you can't do anything with either. So I'm going to say the same thing about your prom dress I say about your wedding dress. Why do you even keep it? The wedding dress is in case the wants it. You just made my job that much harder. Because you've got to censor Because out. we don't say our daughter's name. We don't say other people's names unless they're in the video and we have permission. Anyways. So, go on. About the prom. Why, why are we talking about the prom? I mean, yes, okay, you had your mom's prom and all that stuff, fine. What's there to discuss about the prom? The prom... The prom, the prom was fun, but... It's, was your prom fun? Yeah, I had a good time at my prom. I, uh, I brought, um... Well, I, I'll say her first name, Lisa. Um, the reason why I say her, her first name is because I don't remember what her last name is. <clears throat> and what what it is the reason why I uh, I brought this this woman Lisa um, I would put a picture of the two of us up but again I don't 
I don't talk to her anymore, so I don't really have her permission to use her picture. I will put a picture of me up so you can see what I look like. So that's, yep, yeah, that's it and all my glory. Um, <clears throat> but she was a woman that I worked with. Yeah, right? She was a woman that I worked with. Uh, she was, I believe, 24 years old. And she never got to go to her prom. She actually got, oh, she actually got pregnant in high school. Oh! Yes. Yeah, so, so I don't remember the reason why she didn't get to go to her prom. Yeah. So, so she didn't, she didn't go, get to go to her, her prom, and I, I didn't have a girlfriend. So it was one of those, I basically, you know, we were just talking at work, and I said, hey, you know, she was complaining about it, and I said, if you, I said, if I don't have a girlfriend by the time prom rolls around, I'll take you. And I didn't have a girlfriend, so she came. Um, so the horrible thing is, is Lisa was a, is a very attractive woman, was, and I, I, I honestly can't say whether she is now or not, because haven't seen her in 15 years, you know, or more. Uh, oh, or more. It'd be more. 18 years. So, yeah, 17, 17. At any rate, uh, so she was a very attractive woman, and of course all my friends were like, oh, how'd you get her? And they started making the joke, like, how much did you pay? Ha, ha, ha. And I think I jokingly said to someone, like, oh, it was like 100 bucks. And I think some people took me seriously, and they thought that I brought a prostitute to the prom. A, a couple people did. Most people realized that, who she was, and I, I told them, but... <laughs> yeah, there, there's just a, a couple of people that... There's also people that, you know, took the prom way too seriously. And anything that could happen, they're like, it's not funny, you're ruining our magical night. And, you know, so it's... Oh. I missed it. So the, the messed up thing is that um, I did have a boyfriend. Yeah. Are we going to put your prom picture up too? Sure. All right, that's us going right here. I, I can't pay attention to talking to you and shooting these guys. It's difficult and their lasers are stupid and tiny. Uh, anyway. Oh, you, uh, uh, I did have a boyfriend at prom. However... Did you, I, did you not go with your boyfriend? I did not go with my that boyfriend. That guy wasn't your boyfriend? No. That is messed up. Why didn't you go with your boyfriend? <clears throat> um, well, he he was a year younger. So he was a sophomore. And... Is, is that why? Were you, like, ashamed of having no. a sophomore boyfriend? I finally killed all of them and they still hit me with their stupid lasers. Uh, no, angry. but he was kind of a rebound, and he, we, we'd gotten to a point where he kind of annoyed me. So why and, was he still your boyfriend then? I don't know. Okay, uh, ladies, I, anybody out there watching, if you are sick of your boyfriend and you're like, oh, I just don't feel anything, just be, be done I mean, with it. I wasn't that. sick of him, he was a nice enough guy, you know, I wasn't but, the, like... but you didn't want to date him. So you, you strung him along. I, I didn't want to take him to prom. I wanted to go with this other guy that I used to date. Did you want to date that guy then? Kind of. So you you should have just broken up with your boyfriend. That was messed up. This is um, classy. I, I said it was horrible. If you were smaller, I think I would hug you forever. Hug him forever. Hug what? The blood dragon? Yeah, look, look at that cute. It's like those, uh, what are those little... Water tiny, bears. Yeah, water bears. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Yeah, so we'll, we'll put a picture of a water bear here right now, and yeah. you're like, oh, they're so cute. They're like, like a couple, like, tenths of a they're millimeter teeny, or something. And they can, like, survive, like, extreme Yeah, conditions. I think, I think, I, I feel like they, they're finding around, like, the geysers of Yellowstone or something. They find like them all over the place. But... So at any rate, back the only to, reason back we know what they are is because at one point my pregnancy app told me that our daughter was that size. Yes. In the oh. beginning. Obviously. That's the voice recognition. Thank you, Dr. Malcolm. What? Malcolm. Was that like their mom? I'm pretty sure that's their mom. Oh. Okay. Well, they did say that their mom was a blood dragon. Yeah. So. Okay, so anyways, back to back to your your talking about prom and how you're a terrible person that yeah. did not take their boyfriend well, the, because they want to go with some other guy they wanted to date. So you kind of cheated on him in a roundabout way. That's 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 messed up, Sandra. That that's that's pretty messed up. I know. Are you just realizing this? No, now? I actually have thought about this a lot cut, over cut the scene. years. 
Sorry, Fluffy. Looks like you're out of a job. Time for plan B. Like a lot of chewing gum on its right. tail. Look, mm -hmm. there, there, and there. Missile launch pads. Find a bite, get to them, and knock this space out. I'll hack all their terminals to give you the launch codes. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully that audio is coming through again. I'm still messing around with some of the settings and all that, but... So, uh... Yeah, I've thought about this a lot over the years, actually. I mean, I didn't think about it a lot at the time, because I was a teenager and... Mm -hmm. Clearly a terrible person. Um... But yeah, I, as I've gotten older, I've thought about it, and I realized, wow, I really was a jerk to that guy that I was dating. He, he was a nice dude. Would you, would you like to apologize to him right now? Uh, I mean, I don't know if he watches these videos. Probably I not. I highly doubt that he does. And I do know that he is now happily married to a very pretty girl. I don't know. I mean, I don't know that I just see you know, him on Facebook. Well, it you seems know, like he's happy. You know what? So, still, go ahead but and still, say sorry. I, and, and, and maybe you sent him a message on Facebook and you're like, Hey, I, don't know hey, I got something that. to say and you need to watch this video. And then we get one more mm -hmm. viewer out of all this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if for some strange re reason, reason you're watching... Uh, I'm sorry. I was a total jerk. If it makes you feel any better, she's still a total jerk to me, too. I am not. So. Um. You got lucky. Listen, this is coming from the guy who thinks it's hilarious to knock things out of my hands. Did I ever say I wasn't a jerk? For the record. No. Did I say I wasn't a jerk? No, I, I, I know my, my jerkitude. Jerk to two. Jerk to two. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I like to slap things out of Sandy's hands, like the mail. Yeah, and it explodes everywhere. And it's... A roll of paper towels. Yeah, anything. Anything. Yeah. Our child. I don't care. It's funny. Not the child. Yeah, no. I don't that. He also likes to ask me if he can see my phone for a second, and then he takes Have we, it. Ha haven't we talked about all the horrible things I, I do know. to you on this? But I, then I, I, he I just like throws it to the other side yeah. of the couch and laughs and laughs and laughs. Yeah, because it's funny. How can you not laugh? <laughs> because I'm the one. Oh, well, I got I got to blur that out. That's our next game that we're gonna be playing, and no spoilers. Like it matters if you guys know what game we're playing. But I'm going to blur it out so you can't see. I'm here the first missile round. So. So did you spend a ton of money on prom though? Like, did you get a limo and everything? Uh, no, no, no. We uh, I I drove. We had a I've used a '96 Chevy Lumina. Um, before people say, oh man, that car is so old, I mean, you gotta remember, this was 2001? What about our prom? Uh, yes. Right? I think? Because it was, yeah, junior yeah. prom, so probably yeah, yeah. 2001. Yeah, 2001. Um, no, so I just got the, we took the car, um, I rented a tux, I don't think it was even a hundred bucks. Um, it was just like a, like a basic tux, you know, and... That was it. I actually didn't even buy her a corsage because I didn't know you were supposed to do that. I, I didn't know any of this. No, there, nobody tells you what you're supposed to do for prom. It's like, oh, you gotta have a tux. And I'm a guy. I don't understand flowers. I don't even get why you have those things. Turns Your out, mom never told you. You've met my mother. She's not the most girly. Okay, my my, my mom now has become more girly. Like back in the day, she you know was raised with all boys. She had three boys. So I mean, no offense, mom. Again, I love you. You're a great mother, but you did not teach me feminine ways. So, um. But yeah, do you know why like flowers are such a popular thing at weddings and, and funerals because and stuff? Because people smelled. Yeah, you see, back in the day, people like didn't bathe regularly, so like the bride would want to carry a bunch of flowers so she didn't like stink her husband out. And then funerals was the same reason, except because it's rotting. Like dead body. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, hey, there destroyed. you go. So the next time you guys think about giving flowers to someone, it's because you wish they were dead, or you're telling them they stink really bad. That's why I don't buy you flowers. You bought me flowers for our anniversary. You smell <laughs> You weren't even home! I, I know, I could smell you from Indiana. I was just like, oh! Oh, oh lord. I, I thought my plane was gonna crash. Oh my gosh, shut up. So. Uh. My date didn't bring me a corsage, he brought me flowers. Okay. So anyways, why, why were you asking how much money I spent on going, going back to that? Oh, because, like, for my prom... And then, uh, th I think prom... 
I, I want to say ours was like 50 bucks a piece. We got like dinner and everything. Yeah, we got dinner too. And let me just tell you, our dinner was terrible. The food was cold. I'm not sure. We didn't know if the thing in this little like horrible thing was supposed to be gravy or salad dressing. Like, it, did, did, did nobody taste it, or did you taste it and couldn't tell? We couldn't tell. And then like the food was just cold and like not good. And we at my table. Like, that time my friends and I got there, there was, like, no tables. Like, they didn't even have enough tables for everybody. Really? So we were, oh, like, see, see, cramming see. in and taking over, like, teacher tables. See, we, we had, like, assigned tables. Like, you got there and it was like, you're sitting at table 12. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, we didn't have, like, name tags at our seats, but it was... I don't know how it was supposed to be, but it was a mess. And my table, we ended up, like, throwing food at each other. Like, we took like the bread rolls and we're talking them, just pretty much making a mockery of the meal because it was terrible. Our meal, I remember being pretty good. In all fairness, that is pretty good to 17 year old Gene. I mean, I don't have the greatest palate now, but 17 year old me would have. We found it very disappointing. And also, the room we were in was much smaller than it was supposed to be. There was a lot of things went wrong with our prom, but, um,. I don't remember what t I don't remember how much tickets were. I think my date paid for the tickets. And he paid for the pictures. I, I I know I think I paid for them too. And I think that she offered to pay. I don't know if I she ever did. I don't remember to be honest about that. But I went all out. We got the limo, like I say I had a job, people. I paid for this myself, alright? So Yeah, I had a job too for the record, make yeah, it seem no, like I'm sorry, I just meant like, you know. Actually no, they already know I had a job. I said that was a yeah. work for. I, um, I, I wasn't so taking go on. my what, what? mama's money, but no, we got the limo. Like I paid to get my hair done. I paid to get my nails done. And by the way, my hair did not turn out good. Okay, get to the point. We the are point not talking is, about your hair and your nails and all that stuff. You had a point for why you were asking me, or was this just a reason for you? Know, like you politely had to ask me what I did so that you could tell me, us all about your nails and hair. And, my point is that I learned my lesson with junior prom and then for senior reception, which was essentially prom all over, I uh, did my own hair, my own nails, and I... So, the funny thing is, I did, I, I did the opposite. We had, we had a senior dinner dance. <laughs> it, it was, it was kind of like prom, but it wasn't as big of a deal. Um, but in that one, I had I was hanging out with a different group of people, and they wanted to do the limo, so I was like, ah, oh, why not? And I, I mean, I think it was forty bucks a person or something like that. I don't remember what ours um, cost. I just know our limo driver was horrible. So, yeah. So yeah, I, I think I did spend. No, cause I didn't rent a tux. I think I had a suit. I had a suit back on. I think my mom bought it for me because I was like going to like college interviews and things like that, so. I see. Yeah. Um, did you do anything after prom? Yes. And I don't want to talk about it on a public forum that has children watching. Let's just put it that way. Um, not my, not my uh, proudest moment, and... I will say, <laughs> um, if I'm not mistaken, the time, like, my my family wasn't home for some reason. My mom and brother, I met my brothers, my brothers were in college, and my mom wasn't home for that weekend, so it happened at our house. I don't know if you knew that, Mom, so... Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. See, I was thinking, like, I have nobody I know, like, like, teen movies always, like, first of all, prom is, like, the biggest event of your whole life. Yeah. But then everybody had, like, goes to, like, some raging party afterwards. I don't know, I don't think I know anybody who had, like, a big party afterwards. Well, I didn't have a big party. It was, like, me, um, how many people there were? There might have been four or five of us, you know? And someone, I, I do know that someone did have a party, um, but it wasn't like, I don't think it's a big raging thing. I mean, there probably were like 20 people at it, but it got, uh, 
They, it's, it's not like, again, it's not like the movies where they invite everyone in the school except for the nerd. They just, they invited their friends. Yeah. You know, so it's probably like the entire football team and the cheerleading squad. Like. We, we went to a diner and ate French toast. <laughs> That's what we did after prom. But, but you know what? French toast is awesome. Oh, so that's actually it was so a pretty good. legit. Yeah, we went all. We were still all dressed up too and everything. Yeah. yeah. So. It was um. Yeah. Prom was not as exciting or monumental as I thought it was going to be based on the hype it gets in movies and stuff. Well, again, movies hype up a lot of things. Like, yeah, they do. okay, so again, for those those younger people that do watch this show um high school is important i mean because you do learn your fundamentals and it's, it's it's definitely important and there are some important things that will happen to you you'll have some great experiences but it's not the be all end all you know if your prom goes great or if your prom goes terrible it doesn't matter i mean once once you graduate and you learn very quickly once you graduate and go to college like None of that stuff you don't matters. Care. Yeah, so... And you might not ever really even see half those people ever again. No, you probably won't. I mean, from high school, there is one guy, um, and sometimes him and his wife do watch these videos. Oh, um, hey! So, maybe. Uh, hey, best man. You know who you are. I won't say your name. Um, but, like, he's the only guy that from high school that I talked to, and he actually, I didn't even go to high school with him. He actually went to high school yeah. with my older brother. Um, so he's, like, three years ahead of me. I we, still talked to a couple people, but there were people that I was actually friends with since, like, middle school. Yeah. So. So. But, yeah. So, there we are. Um. We'll, uh, hold on. One hold, last cutscene. Hold the phone. Is that their dad? Yeah. Sis, I really hope this is gonna work. It will. I'm sure of it. Of course it will. Fingers crossed. Now, how do you make a dead man drink up? Easy. With this. Holy f This water tastes like my own piss. Is I that know dad I or what? Name. Sure Maybe sounds like not. him. Where the hell am I? What is this? Am I hearing right? Rox? Slay? Dad! Oh my god, we have so many things to tell you. First, you should know how he found out that the Singes had the key. Was this they should go into more details, so that way we would know what I actually know, happened. I know, I was just thinking that. Like, I'm still like, okay, I'm gonna take the grail, but I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> You did a hell of a job, kids. Defeating evil it's Rex is a serious blow to communism. And they'll have a tough He's time getting there. back on their feet. The war <laughs> may not be over, but I can see cloudless skies ahead of us. Mm -hmm. Where the greatest country in the world can finally be at peace. I can see a moment where America can finally rekindle the hope and dreams of the entire world. Totally. Saving me is part of saving America. And saving America is saving freedom. Rocks. Slay, thank you for this. I'm proud of you. And thank you because you you saved my life. You went to hell and back just to bring me back home. And I think I know how to repay you. I'm gonna find your mother. No matter where she is, I'll turn this galaxy Look, inside out if I have to. She's a gigantic to, monster. I'm pre yeah, pre We're gonna be a family walking. again. Hey, easy, kiddo. You're gonna choke me to death. As for you, General, Thank you for taking care of my kids all these years. Oh, it wasn't that hard. It was even a pleasure. Because, kids, I am your mother. Oh, snap. Yes. Super duper mega cool. Shh. Liz? What the hell is going on here? You see, I'm not who you think I am. I'm not a human scientist. I am one of the original blood dragons. Duh, You've got know. to be shitting me. I am a blood dragon, and I'm here to protect my kin. Everywhere on this planet, blood dragons are studied, chased, exploited, and killed. So I had to make a call. Stay with you, or save them. As much as I loved you, there was only one thing I could do. But you came back for us, as General Ryback. My calling didn't change after your father disappeared. 
But I had to take care of you somehow. And I had to protect my people. So I came up with a plan. Train my darling children to devastate the Earth while pretending to save it. I... I don't get it. Think about it. Freeing the Blood Dragons wasn't about hurting the V-Kongs. It was about letting the dragons roam free. Taking out the Mother Tumor wasn't about cutting the Kami's power. It was stopping them from harvesting our blood as an energy source. Going to the CIA homeworld wasn't retaliation. It was about eliminating the one species that could defeat us, the Dragornians, in battle. The what? Dragornians. You call us blood dragons, but we call ourselves Dragornians. Got it. And that means retrieving the key to the temple wasn't about taming a blood dragon. It was about contacting my home planet. So the full invasion of Earth can begin. I'm sorry I had to lie to you all. I'm sorry I had to hurt you. I love you all very much. But I love my species as well. And I've already made my choice. But you, you've got a choice to make, too. You're asking us to choose a side, join you, and help you conquer Earth. Or fight me. Be with me forever, or be at war with my race. Your choice is simple. They, they had to, like, soap opera it up at the last minute. Right? Wow, I... I I guess that's how it ends. I thought there were more levels. I thought you said there were more. I thought so too. Maybe there are. Maybe this is the end of it. I don't know. I guess uh, we'll find out Maybe. in the next episode. See ya. Bye. Yeah, I'm lost too. Bye.